Hi friend, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to get number of vowels and number of consonants from the given string. So here, if you observe, there are uh, seven names are there. So we need to find out how many vowels and how many consonants are there in each name. So before that, you need to write. You need to understand what is what substitute function. What substitute function will do in Excel? So it is replace existing text with the new text in a text string. So I am selecting this text and comma comma the whole text. Now I want to replace E E with E. I am using E. You, you need to mention within double quotes and I want to replace with A. So here next one is instance number. So uh, which which character you want to read? Suppose the given name is more than one character. It is a you need to specify if you want to specifically uh, want to substitute particular character then you need to mention this instance number. Otherwise you can leave it as this. It is optional. So I am entering. See here, Joe Biden is re uh, replaced with Y in Y. So this is how the substring will work. So if you observe the instance, I already mentioned here. I want to mention if you if I mentioned one, so the Y only first E only it will replace. See G J O Y. And second E, second E in Biden will remain as it is. So this is how the instance will work. So here, one more thing you observe: the name. If you if you observe, every first letter of the every name is start with non vowels. That is consonants. J, D, B, G, B, G, R. All these are not vowels. So. In English, we, we called A, E, I, O, U, R, O, L. So, if you, I am entering one more text enterprise which starts with the E, that is O, L. If you mention the same substitute function, apply it on this enterprise and would replace with the E, with the A. And enter. So the capital E does not change it with the A. So rest of the uh, E's in the string that is one two. Rest of the two E's are replaced with the A. That means it will case sense. So if you want to replace the entire thing, you need to make it as a lower case. So now I am using sub substitute again. It is substitute lawyer. Lawyer will make your string as in a lawyer form. Comma. So old text I want to replace here. E new text is E. And make it now the entire string first letter also replaced with E. Back to your access. So I am using the same substitute and lower functions to get the number of vowels. First, I am using substitute and lower. Within that, select the test. Select the test, comma, whole text. So, what is our whole text here? A E I O U. So, you you need not mention directly this one. So, it will consider the entire string as the text. But we want all these letters are separately. For for that. You need to mention within curly braces, within double quotes, y comma y comma i comma o u. Close the curly braces. 
this entire thing as comes under whole text so to to uh, to which character you want to replace no i don't want to replace nothing just i want to mention just um, two double close that is empty and close it close it so joe biden has just transformed the name in lower cases but our intention is to find out the number of vowels in the name name string for that you need to select first the length of this whole string length of this whole string nine so you need to deduct with the original string learn of a to comma obviously it comes zero now you need to make it sum sum of this this entire function here you have the three vowels o e okay, one minute i will make it as a it's a capital i it is showing i make it as a small i see four o e i e are the vowels from the given name now i am applying the same function to rest of the names first next name you observe o e u there are three vowels and in this name a a 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 so this is how you need to get it. for this name i uh, i 2 3 3 characters are there so this is how you need to get the vowels number of vowels i am explaining the function again first you, you need to apply the substitute with lower and mention uh, all your five letters there is a i o u within curly braces and may make it replace with just empty and after that substitute subtract this entire string with the original string and after that to make it a sum so this is how you need to make now i want to i want to know how to get the consonants consonants by using the same Uh, from the given name for man, for for the consonants you need to add you need to subtract vowels you, you need to subtract with the original string i am taking the the, the string and i am subtracting the rest of this sum of the vowels from the original string it will come the consonants so total length is 9 total length i am saying it as is equal to million total length is 9 from 9 the vowels are vowels are four and uh, uh, rest of the uh, letters are consonants so this is how you need to get so first you get the number of vowels after that um, yeah. um, from the original length of the string and it did subtract the, these vowels you can get the number of consonants so i am using the dragging the same apply with the other other names so it will appear like this so the next name is total length is uh, 12 and vowels are 3 and consonants are 9 and next name 11 is total length vowels are 5 and 6 are consonants and then this one is 14 4 10 12 3 9
So this is how you need to get the vowels, uh, vowels and consonants by you in Excel sheet. So once again, I am telling the formula. First, you need to substitute, make it, make your name as a lawyer and mention your all vowel characters within curly braces and replace with just empty. And some, and uh, find out the length of this entire thing and subtract with the length with the original string and make it sum. So this is how you need to get the vowels. After that, you need to deduct the entire sum of the vowels from the original length of this name name string. So you so that you can get the number of consonants. So hope this video has helped to you how to get the um, how to use the subtract function and how to gain get the vowels and consonants from the given name or test. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.